Welcome back, everyone. I've got a good one for you today. Whether you are younger or older, just starting in a relationship or married for years, it's always a good idea to tell your significant other just how much they mean to you. I'm going to show you how I made this card for my beautiful wife. You can do it too in Affinity Photo. Let me show you how. I'll start with these three images I got from pixabay.com. First, there's this lovely couple having a drink in the sunset. Second, I found this blank jigsaw puzzle. And last, there's a tabletop. I'm going to open the sunset picture and then select the artistic text tool to type You Complete Me in a nice script type font. Then, I'll select both layers, right click on them and select Merge Visible. This will create a new pixel layer combining the text and image. I'll just delete the text as I don't need it anymore. All right, next I'm going to go to the jigsaw puzzle image I already opened. I'll click Command or Control C to copy. Then I'll go back to the sunset scene and click Command or Control V to paste. The jigsaw image is a bit bigger than the sunset, so I'll zoom out a little and then use the corner nodes to resize it. Now, this is a perfect example of how to use blend modes. With the jigsaw puzzle on top, I'm going to click on the mode at the top of the layer panel and switch it from normal to multiply. All right, everybody, this is looking good. Next, we're going to merge the puzzle layer and the sunset layer. Just select both layers, right click on them and select merge visible. This time, I'm going to delete the puzzle layer as I no longer need it. But I'll save the backgrounds just in case I mess something up. But I'm going to give them different names so I don't get them confused. The bottom layer is just the couple in the sunset. The middle has the text on it too. I'll call the top one puzzle and the middle one background two. Now, with the puzzle layer selected, I'm going to perform a little surgery on my jigsaw lovers here. I promise it won't hurt. I'm going to zoom in close and select the pen tool. I'm going to precisely click around the edges of this one piece to select it. I'll speed it up a bit here so as not to bore you. Next, I'll select the node tool, which is the little white triangle looking icon next to the pen tool on my toolbar. I'll click and drag a box around all the pen marks to select them all. Then I'll click on the smooth tool on the top toolbar. This will help me get a very precise selection of my puzzle piece. When I zoom in even more, you can see all the little nodes have a smooth curve running between them. I'll go around and straighten these up and fast forward as it takes a while. But here's some tips while I do that. If you see two little bars sticking out of a white node, you pull on them or move them around to change the shape of the curve. But both sides of the curve will move. If you click and hold Option while moving a handlebar, it will only affect the side of the curve with the handlebar. The other side will stay still. This is very useful for corners. If you grab the node itself, you can move it. And if you click on a part of the curve without a node, it will insert one there for you. Okay, that's a very precise selection. Now I'm gonna go back and click on my pen tool again. Then I'll click on the word selection at the top of the toolbar. Okay. I'll make sure the puzzle layer is selected and then go to edit in the menu and then cut to cut out the puzzle piece. Then I'll click Command or Control V to paste it back in. I'll click back on the select tool and use it to move the piece over to the side. I'll turn it a bit with the handlebar and then find a nice place for it on my puzzle. That looks good. We're getting close to the end here. 
I'll just add in some shadows and place my puzzle onto a table and we'll be done. I'll make sure my puzzle layer is selected. Then, I'll go to the FX button at the bottom of the Layers tab. I'll click on the words Outer Shadow and make sure to check the box. I'll change the Radius slider to about 10 and the Offset to about 15 to 20. Then, I'll point the angle straight down to 270. That looks good to me. Next, I'll click on the puzzle piece layer and do the exact same thing. All right, now I'll go to the table image I already opened up. I'll select edit copy. Then I'll go back to my puzzle image and select edit paste. Finally, I'll grab that table layer and put it under my puzzle layer. Boom, we're done. And here's the final result. Guaranteed to get you lucky if you give it to that special someone at the right time. That should be worth a like or subscribe, I hope. Or if you want to buy me a coffee to help support this channel, there's a link in the description. It's not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.